Okay, ladies and gentlemen, at the time of the recording of this video, we're near the end of all the Jack specific toys. And uh, as of now, we are still missing the giant 12 inch Godzilla and then the Ghidorah and Godzilla playset. In this video, this is what we have the giant 12 inch uh, Godzilla. Once again, this is endorsed. Thank you so much, Warner Brothers. And let's get right to it. Yeah, this is in the Walmart box. Whoa! The pack of materials, newspapers. Ay, ay, ay. Let me remove that. Okie dokie, here we go. Now, I'm looking at the package, I'm looking at the box, and I claim this thing is 20 inches long. I'm pretty sure it's 12. Because if it's 20 inches, it'll be way bigger than the Mega Heat Ray Godzilla and the Giant Godzilla from Playmates. I can see this is where, um, Playmates later on took inspiration for their styles of packaging because, uh, well, you can see the figure is out of the open right here, completely on the box, and it's not covered for once. I find that a bit, you know what, it's okay, because usually for um, their other products, the box concealed in this plastic covering like this, this, like it, the, it just covers the whole figure. You can see the figure, see the product within the box. But obviously, um, it, you, it's not the case here. However, they've kept it like that for the tail. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. The tail is in, is right beneath him. It's still enclosed within a plastic covering. So, I appreciate this, uh, I appreciate this change in the packaging, but of course, they still love their plastic coverings. So, that being said, it is uh, not bad. But, you know what's even better? Looking at the package and then taking it out. So, nice photo of Godzilla right there. Godzilla Game of Monsters, boom. Godzilla right there. And then, Jax. And then, that bold statement being claimed here. On the side, nothing on the side. Um, anything on this side? Doesn't look like it. How about the bottom? Nothing on the bottom. And then, here is the back. Looks like the description and everything is still the same as uh, the, the other ones. Boom, you can pause this if you want to read it for yourself. You know what, this actually might be tiny, so I'm just going to hold it. Up here, close to you can pause the video to read it. Over 20, 20 inches long again, articulating arms and legs, boom right there. And then 65 years, logos and all of that. So that is pretty epic. So we've looked at the package, now let's do the even more epic thing. Taking this lizard out of the packaging and looking at the lizard as a whole. Let's do it. Here's a better view at the tail. Now that I've taken the figure out, boom. You can see the tail is concealed in here. But I was really worried I had to rip the plastic to get it out. However, fortunately, that is not the case. I just, there's just tape I gotta cut here. Well, I uh, spoke way too soon, turns out I did have to rip the plastic. Okay, now it's time for the assembly process. Wait, what? There's assembly? Yes. This Godzilla has two assemblies in his tail. So, piece one, piece two. Unlike Playmates, the giant Godzilla only, of, only have one tail piece, but for Jax, it's not the case, it's a two. So, do I push this in or do I just have to screw it in? Ah, Whew. okay. Now that's in, that's in. All right, now to assemble 
attached the main tail to the main body, obviously. Just right here, so let's do that. Let's bring out his arms a little bit. Guess I'm gonna have to use. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I don't use have to use force. Why why go to the gym and go weightlifting when you can just sit at home and assemble a Godzilla toy? Finally got it. Sheesh. My god, I am relieved. So here, here he is. All done. Now it may look like he's out of he's not in center. And uh, yeah, that's because of his really, really long tail. Later on in the year, obviously. Playmates picked up the line for Godzilla and did the uh, Godzilla vs. Kong toys and they made a very very similar Godzilla figure the giant Godzilla to this guy now Fox claims this guy is 20 inches you're telling me this is 20 inches when he's slightly bigger than the Playmates giant Kong and the fact that uh, the giant Kong is measured 11 inches Nah, man, that I smell cap. <laughs> no, 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 no. However, I will say uh, the Jax Godzilla here has much thicker arms. Now I just noticed than the Playmates Godzilla. Yeah, he's got some much thicker arms, and obviously the uh, color scheme is is very much different here. Playmates Godzilla uses that light gray and blue, whereas this is a complete, like a complete. Almost dark gray, almost black like, and then the same you can see goes for the uh, dorsal fins right there. So obviously the paint job on the, on the Jax here is much more simpler and not really and the contrast of colors compared to uh, Playmates. But there you go, 12 inches, 11 inches. This is not 20 inches, this is slightly bigger than the giant one, that's it. The 13 inch Mega Heat Ray Godzilla. Ah, see now that makes a lot more sense. Mega Heat Ray Godzilla is 13 inches, so that's an inch bigger than our uh, Jax one here. Obviously, it's so big, it's not even the frame, but there you go. Just to quickly show you guys, obviously, you can see the tail has a big difference. Tail is much, much longer on the Jax one here. So, there is that. Which, is that okay? Yeah, definitely. That's okay. I don't see a problem with it. But regardless, each. So that was it for the figure compares the size comparisons. So this is not 20 inches. This is 12 inches. I mentioned this when I did the comparison, which is the uh, paint job on this guy. Very, very dark. You know, it's leaning towards the darker gray, towards black. Um, the dorsal fins are completely plain. I've seen some people complain about this, saying it's so plain and bland. Well, personally, I don't mind it. I actually want a giant. Godzilla figure that is a plain straight up Godzilla no atomic charge no glowing dorsal fins no nothing because later on playmates provided that hence why I am totally okay with this obviously back then we didn't know about playmates so obviously I can see why people would complain but looking at this now from a futuristic perspective this yeah I I I dig this color scheme totally I like the uh, tail even though it was a pain to uh, assemble they just followed their uh, 13, their their tiny three-inch Godzilla format for their play sets, which they have two points of articulation in the tail. So, first point is in here, obviously, and then the second point is at the tip, right here. So basically, if you want to look at it that way, it's an upscaled version of the uh, Godzilla included in the Godzilla and King Ghidorah set, which I don't have yet, which is why I can't really pull them out for a comparison at the moment. But yeah, so. People were like, yeah, it's an upscale, it's like, it's not really anything different, it's, it's plain and everything. Well, I like the plainness, I like the simplicity of this figure, and that's really good. Especially if you put the dorsal fins like this, if he's like swimming in the water, then yeah, it's fine. I totally dig it. Other points of articulation, legs, again, it's like Playmates. It's Godzilla, you can't expect much... Uh, much articulation for for this monster for this creature this uh, atomic lizard so there's that and then the arms I said is much thicker than the um, the playmates 
figures, uh, the Playmate Giant figures. However, the articulation is pretty limited. There is no articulation, no swivel on the wrists or fingers or elbows. So all you can move is the arm itself up to this point. This is as far as you can take it. You cannot move any further apart, like you cannot move the arms even further up from that. So later on, Playmates would fix this with their points of articulations for their arms of their Godzillas. So there's that. Um, so personally, I like the <laughs> I like the fact that you can put the arms all the way down like this. It actually looks pretty decent if he uh, if his arm is down like this. Uh, I, I'm fine with it. But yeah, there you go. Now, any other points of articulation? Nope, not in the head. Obviously, in the uh, three-inch, very small figures, you can move the head all the way around. Unfortunately, that's not the case here. You can't move the jaw either, so the head is just stuck the way it is. So that's why I said the points of articulation here are limited. That's why I don't see this as a play of figure to be picked up and play with, as more of a figure to be put on the store shelves or to be put on the table or the desk just for a nice little display or something like that. Um, I do like the textures, though. They have so many different textures on the overall mold of this figure. Just it, they have a nice consistency, and I think the gloss on this is way more visible than the Playmates figures. So you can see a lot of gloss going on here, and that really gives the figure the shine. I think that looks good, especially with lighting like what, uh, especially the lighting I have in the studio right now. Really reflects the light, really bounces off the figure like that. I think that is pretty cool. Like I said, the dorsal fins are simple, and. They are, they are pretty hard plastic. Unlike Playmates, which uses soft plastic, these are some hard plastic for the dorsal fin. So, do be careful when you're picking this up. And don't jab, don't jab the eye or don't jab the lens, because that's not good. Um, and then, of course, the final thing I want to address is the screw holes. And it's, it's inevitable for especially a mold like Godzilla. You have to see this coming. Like, um, this, the thing is though, uh, Playmates, their screw holes is on the other side of the figure. Jack's one here, they put it on this side. So if you're gonna display the Godzilla, just do, just display them like this. No problem, let no, like the Playmates when you gotta display the other way. So, of course, the screw holes are a massive bothering. They are gonna be a problem, but given with this figure's color scheme, it's not super, super visible. If you just display in the other direction, cover in darkness, the screw holes will barely be noticed. So, that's alright. But, of course, it would be nice if they had some way to fill in these holes, but I know some of you are disappointed because of that feature. Obviously, I don't like it, but I can live with it. It won't kill me. So, just to let you know, it's inevitable because that's how you that's how the uh, manufacturers put this figure together. And given the Godzilla is this, like, shape, they kind of have to like they can't really put on the back or the bottom so they have I mean, they have one screw hole underneath the armpit here anyway so oh well there's that and then of course finally the uh, face print which of course I said you can't move the head at all but I do dig the face print it's a little bit goofy on the front but on the side he looks pretty badass I think he uh, definitely exceeds in that area so with that being said, there's not much for this figure. Like I said, he's pretty limited. So, he is $20. Now, I like this figure for many reasons. His simplicity, the plainness, and he just looks, I think this just looks more the most accurate to a plain, normal Godzilla without any atomic charging, or atomic glow, no nothing. So, I, I, I dig this. So. Out of all the Jack specific toys, I do think this, of course, comes out on top being my most favorite. Articulations, I'm not, I don't really care because I'm not going to have time to be playing with this figure anyways. He's just going to sit on my shelf. So I'm okay with it. He's going to be on my shelf. He's going to look good on my shelf alongside the Playmate stuff and the other Jack specific toys. So there's that. But I, I can see for some people he's disappointed now, which leads me to the question. Is this better than the uh, giant 11-inch Godzilla from Playmates? No. I think he's the same. Both versions of the figures have their strengths, and both figures have their weaknesses. From all the Jax toys, I would say if you, if you can only get one 
If you only have enough money to afford one, get this guy, go big or go home, forget about the places, forget about the other figures, go for the big guy, the big G-man. So my final score for him will be an 8 out of 10. That's what I gotta say about this uh, Jack Pacific 12 inch Godzilla, not 20 inch. So let me know what you think. Do you agree with what I said or do you completely disagree with what I said? Make sure to let me know. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's it for this video. If you want to see the other Jack specific toys, be sure to check them out. They are available on my channel. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. I am Mark45 Studios. This is the giant Godzilla from the Jack specific line of Godzilla King of the Monster Toys. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.